What's up guys, Paintsbox here, back again with another video, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how you can make a Rust server on your Linux computers. So, let's get started. So first of all, you gotta have a PuTTY installed on your computer, so uh, if you want to add mods on your server as well, like uh, plugins, so you need to have FileZilla as well installed on your computer, so you can transfer plugins for your uh, server after downloading it on your computer. So let's get started first of all. Uh, you need to download PuTTY, so I'll put the link in the description of this video. So just click on here and just uh, choose anything you want. Like uh, if you have a 64-bit computer, just this one. If you have 32-bit, just, just this one. Okay. So after it's done, you, uh, you have to download FileZilla as well because you need to install uh, FileZilla uh, to upload files on your server. Okay. So if you don't want to add plugins, you don't need to add this. Okay. If you want to play vanilla, uh, you don't need to install FileZilla. But if you want to add plugins, you need to have FileZilla installed on plugins. So once it's downloaded, uh, just install it. Show you for that. Uh, the basic thing uh, you need to do is uh, just copy commands and just paste it. Okay. So just follow my video and it will help. Okay. So currently I'm using Debian 10 on my Linux. Uh, it's it's hosted by Jap Hosting. So do check them out guys so i'll also put this link in the description of, uh, of the affiliate link so please use the affiliate link to purchase anything uh, any any server you want because they provide a uh, very good server for the reasonable price as well and their uptime is also very good so so let's get started guys so first you have uh <coughs> first you need to go in this link so i'll put this link in the description of the video so do not worry about it so uh after all this done you need to uh log into your server from putty okay so just uh, put the ip of your uh, server and just open it and just use uh, root to root as an access and just use the password if you want and if you are using sss key just use sss key and you don't need password okay so just uh, enter your details and you'll be inside here so once you're inside here uh let's update something if you have some update uh, update come on oh sudo apt update so if we have any update on our system it will update something so you don't need to do this because the commands from here will auto update it and auto upgrade if if anything is upgradable so yeah uh, just follow my leader guys and it will be all good just go into the uh, link in the description of this linux uh, game server manager um, so this thing will just uh, as you can see it's a command line tool for quick simple deployment and management for your linux dedicated game servers okay so yeah you can see all the compatibility of the uh thing like you need to have minimum of uh, 16.04 ubuntu or debian 10 okay so okay everything's done just go on dependencies we need to install some uh necessary files for your uh linux server to perform or install a Rust server on your system. Okay, once it's done, just go choose anything you want. Like if you have Ubuntu, just choose this one. If you have Debian, just choose Debian. I have currently I have Debian, so just uh, copy Debian one and copy all the thing. Like if you have Debian 10, just choose this one. If you have Debian 11, just choose this one. Okay, double click it and Control C and just right click on here, and it will install all the necessary files for it. On your computer so as you can see it says I already have these files so just enter Y Y Y and it will install all everything for you you don't need to do anything and and it's done okay so once it's done let's go to install and you can see it is saying us to add a user for our server because it's necessary a step uh, for our protection of your game server and yeah just double click here and just right click and if you want to add password for your user uh, you can do this you can even use this random password from here okay right click to int copy paste and we don't need to put any name if you want you can just go ahead and put names if you want so everything is correct of course and once you're here we need to uh, uh, log into our or change our user to rest server we just created okay uh okay we are inside our rust server directory and once it's done just double click here and we need to install linux game server manager okay just right click on here so it's all easy guys you don't need to do anything and it says it's install rust game server as rust server and we need to do is double click here to, ins to start installing our server on our uh vps and it will be all good 
Okay. So let's solve the thing. Um, the limb, uh, okay, so it's installed. So it says you want to use home slash uh, reservoir directory. Of course, we want to use that directory because yeah, that's good. So let it let it install everything it needs, uh, like all the files and its taking dependencies. All everything is installed and required dependencies already installed. So everything is working fine, guys. And it is installing Steam command line. Okay, CMD. So let it install and it's now installing our Rust game server. So this uh, thing is automatic. You need to do anything. And even if you don't have any Linux uh, uh, knowledge, you don't need to do anything. Just copy and paste everything up, okay? So if you if you still don't know how to use Linux, you just can go in straight to Jap Hosting and uh, purchase a game server from them. Like you can see, they provide a lot of game servers, or you can even choose root server if you want, or VPS if you want cheaper. But I suggest to buy root server as it says that it's a private server and the performance are better from their VPS for our game server, okay? So let's see the game server and the VPS or root server, okay? And uh, the game server. So as you can see, they have a ton of location, uh, but currently they only support like uh, Germany, Finland, uh, USA, and only for our, our root server. But for game servers, they support a ton of uh, uh, location, like. Let me see, let me see where is Rust. As you can see, there are a lot of games to support. You can see Rust and even you can choose vanilla or action mode. Okay, so let's choose upside mode because that's the way we roll, okay? As you can see, there are a ton of locations like UK, Finland, uh, yeah, as you can see, all oh, everything. Uh, even uh, Asia and Australia as well. So you can even ping, ping check here. And you can choose the slot you want, like uh let's say we want 40 slots we want uh as you can, as you can see the recommended re minimum ram saying is 8 gigabytes so let's say we need to add 8 gigabytes and even it's saying uh premium just buy a premium if you want but uh it's recommended but you don't you can just pass on it if you want you can try it without uh the premium one but i'll suggest you to buy premium one and you can buy from him or you can get jap coins like you can say you use paypal and you use the code voucher code okay i'll also put voucher code for 20 percent uh, permanent discount so i'll put also the voucher code on the description of this video to do use that code okay and when purchasing the game server or root server use my link uh, affiliate link so i'll get some commission from it so yeah so after it's done let's get out of here and uh, where we were okay we were here and it's still installing the game server and downloading the game server so i'll pause the video guys and i'll be back once it's done uh hello guys it's, it's done so welcome back so once it's done you can even choose to allow anonymous uses as statistics you can choose yes or no it doesn't matter so it's just a user's data i'm, I'm just using no for it and once it's done you can start your server but before that uh if you want to install uh oxide mode on your server like uh, for plugins or stuff some, something like that you need to install uh something so like you can ch uh, just choose this link and you can go bottom until you see that we can install oxide using only just a bit of command okay so you can just copy the command just paste it here and it will install the oxide mode on your server okay guys so yeah that's easy as it okay guys so i'll also show you guys how you can install plugins for your server so as you can see so rust oxide just type in rust oxide and it will install it for you guys you can see oxide okay rust oxide. that's it so they do a job and everything is perfect guys now we can just uh, start our game server to do that you can just type in the server and start and it will start the server for us guys it might take a little bit of time because it's uh for the first time it will start with uh with uh with the map which is a generated map so yeah you can even change the map seed or something like that uh you can even choose this command to do that but i'm not going to do that right now because yeah it's just a uh tutorial video so you can choose you can see the control for the raw server like what's doing or something like that 
and it will give you a command to do that because uh, as you can see it's a warning because we have the default uh, password for our Oracon. you can change that from your config file uh, but I'm not going to do that right now. As you can see, the, there's a warning. Do not press Ctrl C to exit. Just press Ctrl B, then D to exit the console. Okay. Just enter and to access the console. As you can see, it's 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 loading the game files for it. So it might take a uh, a time because uh, it's 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 uh, also generating a map for us. So yeah. But now I'm going to show you until it's done how to install and download plugins for your uh, server. As you can see, we are inside uh, this umod.org website. I'm also going to put the link in the description of this video, so do not worry about it, okay? So, I'm going to show you how to download and how to install uh, the necessary plugins for your, uh, let's say, modded server, okay? So, you can even say a vanilla modded server, like uh, some sort of uh, mod and vanilla thing. So, as you can see, there are tons of uh, uh, plugins which are obviously free and you can just download it and install on your server and it will work without any issue. You can sort by downloads, you can sort by last updated and to be honest the most used uh, plugins for your server is stack size controller or you can even say the gather manager or you can choose anything. As you can see, uh, you can see the, all the documents, uh, all the commands. Okay. You can choose a custom stack size for all the uh, uh, your your items to to just randomly generate it, and you can even use this teleportation. Okay, so I'm just gonna install this teleportation one because it seems good. So let's see what's it's done or not. It's just install. It's still uh, loading our files, but. Till then, we'll install FileZilla, okay? I already installed FileZilla, but we're gonna, uh, what's it say? We're gonna, mm, gonna copy the IP of our server. So, to uh, access your server from FileZilla, you need to put your IP here, and the username is, of course, root, and if you are using password, just type in the password of your server, and the port will be 22 but uh, right now I'm using SSH key so I'm not gonna put a password because um, you don't need password with SSH key okay so yeah let's put your password if you have password just so it will uh, direct our uh, server on here and you can go back and you need to go to inside home and uh, in, our, in our root server, I have two server, like for Eco game and Rust game. So we need to go inside Rust server because we made the Rust server user, right? So what, once we are inside here, we need to uh, go inside server files, Oxide, and the plugins, okay? So we need to download this plugin from here. And of course, save. And go here, or no, no, go inside FileZilla, and we need to go inside our downloads folder from here. Where's download, downloads, 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 downloads. Okay, once the uh, download is here, and as you can see, the downloads says the and teleportation.cs file. Uh, just double click here, and it will upload the plugin to your server. And once it's loaded, uh that didn't update okay it's it's transfer already and as you can see the plugin it will work without any issue so you can even change the config from here if you, if it's made uh but the server is, is still loading so yeah it, as you can see the plugin has already been loaded loaded plugin so yeah you don't need to worry about it uh, but for the first time as uh it will uh make a new map so it might take a lot of time or make a little of time so this, uh, don't worry about it just check uh, the description of these uh, plugins or you can uh, use any plugins you want you don't need to worry about this you just uh, gotta go inside this uh, server i mean website and just choose sort by download so you can search for any 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 um, good plugins but yeah there are a lot of free plugins you don't need to do anything you just download it and upload it to your server and it will work without any issue and next thing you need to do is you need to give permission to use this uh, 
DP thing, okay? Teleport thing. So to do that, you need to have Archon installed on your server. You can use Rust admin for that because it's free and it works without any issue. Uh, so just download the online one and okay, I don't know. Just use download the free one and it will install a, a application for it and you can. Uh, uh, monitor your server. You use your commands. You can do anything you want. Like reload, uh, you can reload any plugins you want, and you can give uh, like you can give uh the permission to use this command. Like it says, like here, you just go inside the uh, Rust admin uh to kind of tool and just go inside console and just put this uh thing like oxide the grant and space default space uh the command uh the permission you want to give like the home permission just do that okay so it will be easy as hell guys so if you have any problems with regarding this just comment down below in this video and i'll be happy to help so thank you for watching the video guys do check chat posting out and use the affiliate link that i'll put in the description of this video and use the code of 20 percent discount code and it will be permanent so thank you for watching the video guys it's page box here uh see ya